What is going on guys, it's Waffa here, and welcome back to some more Slime Rancher. Let's jump right back into Slime Rancher here. Now last time we left off, we finally did a little bit more busy work here at the base after doing some missions for Ogden Ortiz over at his base. Uh, getting more of those, uh, what are they called, Kukadoba berries or whatever they're called. <laughs> Uh, between this episode and last episode, I actually did do a couple more uh, rounds over here, getting more Kukadoba, fruit, berries, whatever they are. So up to 93 out of 120 right there. Should be just one more trip inside of there, and we're good to go. Got a lot more of those spicy tofu things, <laughs> so that's pretty fun. Trees over here need to be harvested, I guess. Uh, where are the robots at? Oh, that one's harvesting the lemons, okay. Yeah, we have such a huge supply of fruit and stuff like that over here. I don't know what to do with it. I guess if anything, oh, you know what? Aren't I able to... Where should I place this thing down? Aren't I able to place, like, a, an incinerator or something like that somewhere? Should I do that, like, right here? Like, do I really need Q-berries? I guess I could try and get an incinerator, right? And then maybe I could put the fruit inside there, or does that only work with slimes and plorts or something like that? I don't know. I need I need to figure that out, but... Eh, let's demolish it. Yeah. There you go. So am I able to, yeah, incinerator, don't need it, burn it. Yeah, see if we get extra fruit and stuff, maybe I can get some ash out of this and I could use that for something, so I guess we'll purchase it. Forge of 50, boom. Oh, it's really small. That was like a really huge thing, so hold on. Now what does that do? I throw a mint mango in there, what happens? Am I not getting any ash or anything? Now, hold on, where are the upgrades? Ash trough, okay. An ash trough allows you to collect the ash from incinerated food at its base. Okay, so yeah, just throw whatever inside there and we're good to go. Which is eaten exclusively by the fire slimes. It's gross. Okay. There you go. Hold on. So, if I just throw more stuff in there. So, does this basically not work if you don't have the ash trough? I don't know why they didn't come together like that, but, uh... Yeah, I don't, I don't know what this ash is supposed to look like. I guess if you just throw enough stuff inside there, eventually some ash is going to start piling up. Or maybe it doesn't work with the mint mangoes. Maybe it means food as in literal living slimes. Which is kind of crazy and savage if you think about it, golly. Yeah, nothing's happening right now. Hmm. Well, at least we have a way to get rid of some extra stuff if we don't need it, right? <laughs> Especially if, uh... Oh, jeez, these guys are starving. Whoops. Oh, these guys are starving. Man, I'm literally throwing away food. Oh, well, these guys have plenty of food. I don't need to give them anything, but these guys don't need any fruit. Oh, no. Okay, well, let's go over here. Let's go grab some... Oh yeah, look at that, that little thing on the bottom left, yeah, I think that's uh, whenever one of my uh, drones over here is selling uh, ports and stuff like that on the port market, which is really good. Also did get a comment from someone saying that I could actually make like a, a market link, or like a, uh, a refinery link or something like that, and I'm able to actually just place it down and then pick it up and then place it down, pick it back up constantly, I'll have to worry. Why do I place carrots over here? What? <laughs> okay. Maybe all the odd onions got ran out there and it just placed the carrots there for who knows what reason. But uh, I can just place them down and then pick them back up again, so I don't even need to leave them in like a permanent spot, which is interesting. Might want to go check up on if we could actually make the other one. I forgot what it was called. The forge, not forge link, refinery link. I want to see if we could actually make that. I think we can. Oh yeah, and yeah, it's sometimes I feed some of the extra stuff to these pink slimes over here, but I'm like, they already have a lot of food, so they're not eating all of it. But, uh, let's see. Am I able to make a... I am able to make a market... Oh wait, hold on. I need to unlock the blueprint first. Yeah, I forgot about that. Let's go look. Med station, refinery link. Yeah, I did get comments from you guys saying to get the pink teleporter. Don't know if that means I need the pink warp depot first. Instead of two gadgets that allow you to remotely transfer resources between two points. Ooh, I guess not. This sounds like a completely different thing. A set of two teleporters that could be used to create your own link or quick travel link. 750, you know what? I'll buy that. We've got money. We're at 65,000 right now. I was going to remotely transfer resources between two points. Hmm. That might be pretty useful here, too. You know what? I'll get that, too. That's another 750. I'm like, we still need the actual, uh, and then a Gordo Snare. Special snare that captures a Gordo slime, bait it with food and wait. Ooh. Yeah, I got comments of you guys saying I need I should get a Gordo and like put it here at the base or something crazy. That'd be crazy cool. <laughs> then a slime or a slime ball hoop begins around a slime ball as soon as a Yeah, I don't know, seventy five hundred dollars. That's a, oh here's the refinery link. Seventy five hundred dollars for a meme like that. I don't know. Maybe I'll do it, but uh I don't think I'm gonna do it right now. We don't have that much money. <laughs> Let's go over here and see if we can actually make the uh here we go. Here's Oh we can! We can make a pink teleporter. We can make a pink warp. To depot, which, golly, we have a lot of pink plorts, 218, that's good. 
Refinery Link, that's good. I should definitely get that. Boom. That's going to be using up our royal jelly. This this isn't using royal jelly. This isn't. Okay. Boom. Then pink teleporter. You know what? Boom. There you go. So we've got all those right there. Market Link. Yeah, I still need another royal jelly, unfortunately. But hey, at least we already have a uh, Market Link in both, actually, pretty much all expansions of our map. That one and the one over there with all the chickens and stuff like that. So that's good. So I suppose we could place this down somewhere and then we could have like a, an easier way to fast travel to a place, have like custom teleport warps and stuff like that, right? So that'd be pretty cool. I just wonder what to do with this. Like if I... Like I don't know if I want to go grab some actual slimes and throw them inside the incinerator. That would be the most savage thing in the universe. Should I do that? Or should I, uh... Because usually those tar... Th I don't know if I could pick... Oh, hey, I've got a uh, thing right there. Oh, wait, what was this? Did I ever climb this? Oh, there's a box! I guess I never came over here. Hey, a rooster, I'll take it. I think that's for uh, hunter slimes. Wait, yeah, I've been here before. Oh, yeah, look at this, there's a treasure chest here. Oh, yeah, you know what? You guys have been commenting about treasure chests I've missed. Sponge shrub? What is that? I don't even see it here. Oh, I hear a uh, something being spawned in, but it's not a lucky slime or anything like that. Yeah, sponsor slime. Hmm. But yeah, it, I, I got comments from like three or four locations of you guys. So I need to go back here and there and try and find the... Uh, oh, wait, this thing's ready. Try and find the uh, treasure pods that I left behind. So definitely want to go try and do that, honestly, you guys. Uh, Rustro, should I get rid of them? Because I've... Uh, carrots? I guess I'll feed these guys. Sure, I don't need the carrots. You guys can eat it. There you go. I don't think we're going to have any uh, tars from these guys, though, so I don't have to worry about that. Rustro, I guess we'll get rid of one. There you go. All right, well, at least we got all this. And hey, you know what? We have... How do I do it? Here we go. We have the thing now, right? The... How in the world do I... Oh, I have to go up to a thing. There you go. Warp Tech Refinery Link. Look at this. This is a great way to test it out. Refinery Link. Boom. And I can pick it right back up. So yeah, just keep it in our inventory, I suppose, and then just place it down when we need it, and then put it up. Look at this! I don't even need to go back to my base, and then pick it up. Boom! Awesome! So yeah, just keep that in my inventory, and I guess we're good to go, huh? Might as well do the same thing with a market link, honestly. That way, if we ever have, like, a full inventory or anything like that, we could empty out our inventory, get a little bit of money out of it. If we have ports, or maybe put it up inside the refiner if we have anything else, right? So that seems really, really good, you guys. Have any of these guys escaped yet? At least in a while. I don't know, the number, it, it seems like it's thinned out quite a lot, honestly, so... There you go, put all those back. So I don't, I, I can't really tell if any of these guys have actually escaped, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> Man! Uh, well, we do need to get more farms and stuff like that. Because these guys over here are hungry, these guys are hungry. Ah, uh, man, we're doing such a good job until we, like, moved everything around. And now I need to get them all there, and we automate these. I need to place down some other stuff. I need to place... Ah, uh, you know what? Hmm. I need to place down something somewhere. But I don't think I'm going to worry about that right now. We, we worry about that a little bit later. Hopefully these slimes are fine, but... Uh, well, they are, like, really, really hungry there, though. I probably should have given them the carrots that I had. <laughs> Whoops! Ah, uh, okay, you know what? Let me go get some carrots over here. I know carrots are spawning over here. Just because I don't want to leave the base with these guys all hungry and stuff like that. Let me see if we can find some carrots. Here we go. Here's some carrots. A little bit of carrots right there. Should be able to find some more real quick, though. And give them to all the rad slimes and stuff like that. Maybe we'll turn them into Gordos finally. That way I don't have to worry about having a, a regular old phosphor slime or a, a regular old rad slime and go put them over with the other phosphor slimes and I'll be able to go give them either fruit or vegetables and that'd be pretty good you guys all right well let's give them some carrots I guess we'll put like six inside of here or something like that there you go try and feed each one of them and then I guess I'll put the rest up inside of here I know it's not going to feed everyone but at least I'll get a, a few people fed there or <laughs> slimes not people golly <laughs> now if I wanted to go to this is going to be another awesome opportunity to test out like the teleporters and stuff like that that we made if I wanted to go to... Where should I place it down, though? Honestly, here isn't that bad. So, pink teleporters, that's up to two teleporters that could be used to quickly create your own travel. Quick travel link. So, I could do this. Yes. And then, uh, get rid of that. Then I'll, I'll custom teleport us to anywhere, right? So, if I go over here and I want to go to the Ancient Ruins, which is not that one, that's Ogden's area, which... Hopefully, maybe this episode I can do another off-camera thing, try and find more of those Kukidoba fruit, try and get up to as a, a mountain. We can plant two things in one, uh, in one farm. But, let's go back over here to the Ancient Ruins, try and place down a teleport so we could easily go to and from the Ancient Ruins over here without 
you know, use that teleport over there and then walk it all the way over here and then going through the uh, the mossy blanket a little bit and all that kind of stuff. Let's see if we can place down a, a really easy way to just to get to the ancient ruins if I ever want to go back there again. And uh, hopefully it'll be a lot simpler without me having to do all this trash, right? So let me just head on over there real quick. I'll see you guys here in just a sec. Oh, hey, look at this. The apiaries and stuff like that are done. Oh, man, look at all that wild honey. We got a lot of it right there. Awesome. Yeah, we need to get more apiaries, though, because these, I think, are about. Yep, those are gone. I think yep, there's another one up here. This one's probably going to be gone after this, right? Yep, there you go. There we go. And yep, that's just a bunch of wild honey right there. So we can place down the refinery link. Boom. And then easily just deposit all the wild honey that we got, which is really, really good. Buzzwax, hexacombs, anything else we have over here? I think we actually have a uh, something over here, right? Yeah, this thing. Left it behind a while ago. I don't know why I forgot about it. I guess I just didn't have the inventory space for it, right? But we also have an ornament there. I don't know if... I'm like, we need a decorizer or something like that. I don't think there's like a version of that that I could just place anywhere like this or like a market link or anything like that, right? So I suppose we could. Oh, that's really cool. You can actually see all the pink plorts, rock plorts, all that kind of stuff. They have stored inside here. This is really good. All right, well, let's put the uh, jelly stone up. There you go. And let's get this thing back. Thank you guys all very much for letting me know about this little strategy of just placing those down, picking them back up whenever I need them. Really, really helpful. I could, I could definitely see us using that really, really often here in the future. But for right now, Let's just head on over here. Let's go place down the other part of that teleport. That way we can hopefully get to and from the uh, the ancient runes over here a little bit easier. I'm not going to place it here just yet. I'll place it at basically the entrance, you know, just past this gate. That way I don't have to go through all this trash and it'll save us a lot of time, honestly. And I wonder if you could have multiple teleports set up. Where, uh, where should I do it? I guess I'll place it down like right here. Oh, yeah, they are predetermined places, so you can't place them everywhere. Oh, look at this. We have some, uh, let's place this here. Pink teleporter, yes. So if I install that, yep, that takes us back to our base. Awesome. And I'm able to rotate uh, rotate that around. Uh, let's see. Let's do it like this. There we go. That, that way I can see that a little bit easier. But I don't think I'm able to... Yeah, I can't get that. I need to have some sort of fruit or something like that. Oh, can I not get out of the way with a slime? Oh, you do need another fruit. An actual fruit. Oh, wait. What about a chicken, though? Chicken, that's basically a food, right? So, yep. Oh, you can't... It does have to be a fruit. Oh, can slimes go through the teleport? I don't think I ever tested that. I guess not. But, hey! Look at that! Now we have a way. Oh, is that showing the menu app too? Uh, oh, it does! Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll place the teleport, honestly. Maybe I should place it over here, like somewhere in the middle. That way, if I ever want to go anywhere over here, I could just, I'll be a little bit uh, closer no matter where I am, right? So maybe I'll just pick this thing up. E to activate. No! Oh, no! It demolishes it! Ooh. Wait, hold on. Destroys this gadget and it's linked gadget installed out. Oh, so it destroys this one and the one we placed at home. Ooh. Okay. Well, that sucks, but at least at least we have a way already over here, so. I guess we'll just leave that for right now. Uh, but what we're doing over here. So this, this opens up to another area. Oh, look at oh, I might you know what? I might as well grab some more quantum slimes. We have so many lemons. But I might as well grab all these quantum slimes here. <laughs> that way, hopefully, we could actually have something to eat all those lemons that we have, right? So. That'd be pretty good. I should probably keep some, honestly, I'd probably keep some chickens on me. Just in case I come across another lucky slime or anything else like that, right? Uh, oh man, look at the, uh, the gourd, or, uh, the Largo right there. Tabby, uh, quantum. Yeah, I keep getting what seem like non-trollish comments from people saying that I should indeed make a rad and quantum Largo. It sounds like a bad idea on paper. Let's just face the facts here. Like, 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 with the little radiation thing around it, and then the ability to, like, teleport all over the place. I don't know, or, like, you know, split off, or whatever you'd call that. I don't know if that's that good of an idea, to be quite honest, but maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll just let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys think I should actually make the rad quantum, uh, lar or, yeah, Largos? Or, oh, here you go, more hand hands, perfect. Or should I do that with something else? Because I, I'm like, at least one of them eats fruit, the quantum one, the other one eats vegetables. So, uh, you know, at least it's good in that regard. We, we'd be able to feed them two different types of food instead of just one, which is good. We don't have to worry about that quite as much. Oh, what are these? Oh, elder hens, ooh. Yeah, you know what, I'll keep them there. We need to keep on exploring this area here. I'll keep on grabbing some quantum slimes here and there, though. Oh, is this a new area we haven't been yet? Oh, it, oh that, is that a Gordo? I think it is, hold on. 
Oh, I'm hovering over him, but I need to be a little bit closer, it looks like. So how do I... How do I actually get there without falling down into there? Okay, there's a way there. Uh, but how do I get there from... Okay, so I know how to get here. Yeah, and there's there's more of these things down here, right? Yeah, here's, here's another one. Oh, well, it's blue, though, so I can't pick that one up. Man, let's so pick these guys up. There you go, seven of those. I don't know how many we have at home, but hopefully this should be more than enough, right? So there you go. Can't do anything with that. I, I can't do anything with that guy. I don't think there's any more of these uh, echo things around here, which, by the way, are just purely decoration, so don't need to worry about them. You probably just place them anywhere, honestly, and just leave them, and they don't despawn, and I'll have to worry about it, but... Oh, man, I, I don't remember any comms about anything I might have missed here. I know there's a uh, ornament thing right there, but I just don't have the inventory space right now. But I don't know where to place these echoes at, honestly. So I think we read that. Uh, if there are any more H's around here, I'll, I'll definitely read them. Oh, there's a couple more echoes, but man, you know, what? I'll place these right here. You know, that way with that, at least they're all kind of grouped together. I'll be able to see them. A little bit easier, and of course, there's like four or five colors right there, right? So, I'll be able to get all of them, hopefully, if I have an empty inventory, I'll be able to get all of them, but... This just takes us back up. I don't know how to get to that area without falling down into it. But it looked like a, uh, Boom Largo, which I forget what they want. Either they want the... Odd Onions, or they want the, uh, something else. I forget. Oh, I guess I can look it up, right? I'm just trying to go off of memory here, though, but... Let's see, Boom Slime... Oh wait, no, they want the briar hen, yeah. So we, I think we just solved some briar hens though. So if that's the case, I could just feed him regular chickens as well and he'll be fine, but. Oh, that's a secret skin right there. That we already opened, of course, so don't need to worry about that. So I think this is where we fall down. I think he's like right here. Yeah, he is. So we, oh, oh, Tars. Tars are over here. Wait, did they just spawn in here? I don't know if anything was already, oh, I guess, yeah, they're quantum and whatever that is right there, tabby. I don't know. This just goes right back up. Oh, perfect. Bunch of hen hens here. Stony hens. I'll take them. Or just hens, I guess. <laughs> the regular hen hens are not bright. There's no such thing as a briar hen hen, right? Or a stone or stony hen hen. Same thing, though. But either way. Where is all this stuff take us? I don't know. I guess I keep... I'll just feed this guy some chickens right off the bat, though. Oh, but he's facing the other way, though. How do I... Oh, I can't get into there. Oh, there's a treasure pod back there. I think I could open up that one, right? The blue one? I, I, I just can't open up the purple one right now, so... Let's see. Oh! Tar's somewhere. I guess I'll help them out. I guess. <laughs> oh, there you go. So, th is this how I get over there? Oh, that just closes the door. Well, it looks like it just float over there. Doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. Yep. Yeah, see, here, here we go. Look at him. Why does he, like, all rotate around like that, though? Yep, yep. There we go. So none of those are briar hens, but if, as long as we give him, like, 50 chickens in general, he should be good to go. What is this? Oh! Uh, what are these slime fossils? Cool. So, well, I can't place any, any, uh, market or, a uh, resource, whatever it's called. I can't place a link down right now, which sucks. So I guess I'll put that up at least right now. There's another blue thing right there, so we kind of have to go all the way around like this if we want to feed them, which kind of sucks, but... At least we'll be able to uh, find a lot of chickens around here and be able to feed them a lot easier. Look at all these guys. This is crazy how many of these quantum signs are here. Look at this! I don't know how many we have at home, like five or six or something like that, but... Holy heck. Oh, hey, look at this. Another thing. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, we didn't get anything there we need. We need chickens. We do not have any. Oh, you know what? Uh, I need to place... I need to get rid of these. I, I can't place it down. Oh, yeah, I can place it down here, though. Let's see. Let's place down the refinery link. Perfect. And... Uh, whoops. Let's do slime fossils. Put those up. There we go. See, look at that. We just cleaned out some inventory space right there. Awesome. And we could do this. Pick up gadget. And then there it goes. Back in our inventory. Awesome. So I just need to find... Oh, man, I don't know how many more chickens, but I think we gave them, like, three or four right there, so it shouldn't be too many more. Especially if we find some briar hens here and there, right? Oh, speaking of such, find some chickens. Oh, well, these are stony hens. I need the briar hens. But, hey, at least these will still help out, so I'll grab those. There you go, a lot of them, too. Where are we on the map, by the way? Oh, we're over... Oh, though we're, like, in the back already. We're still in, like, the center. So that's where the Gordo is. We need to explore more around here, which means there's an area up there. 
At least it, it kind of highlighted on the minimap where the Gordo is, so I don't need to- Oh! There's a treasure pot up here. What is it? Is it an actual treasure? Or is it a skin or, or decorate? Oh, it is! Ruined pillar. The stone structures of the ruins once supported vast temples. Some say time itself. Ooh, poetic. Let's grab some more stony hens here. Because if we gave them like three or four right there, we still need to get them like 40-something hens. <laughs> or like 30-something now, because we have uh, 29, but... Let's just keep all the chickens on us right now. Do a little bit of parkour right here. Make sure we have plenty of stamina. So we don't fall in the water and lose our whole inventory, right? So where does this take us? Not really anywhere, it seems. Oh man, some stuff spawning in over here. Anything up here, though? Oh man, there's there's even parkour up here. So hold on, what what is up here, then? There's the Gordo over there. Man, if I could find some more chickens, that'd be great. Oh, there's another skin or something like that over there. There's a tar. Just going to wait for my stamina to get up, and I'll see if I could float over there. Oop. See what that skin- or a treasure chest thing is. Here we go. Yeah, I can hear the tar music in the background. <laughs> Let's see what it is! Hey! Look at that, we got some hexacombs! Cool, so I guess we can go put those up inside the, uh... Inside the refinery link as well. That's gonna be really, really good. Oh, can I make this jump? Uh, I'll try. I don't know if it's gonna let me go- Oh, it did! Nice! Oh, there's a, uh... Oh, no, it's- oh, I thought it was a secret skin thing, but it's not. So what does that do? What did that just do? It's doing something. I have no idea what it's doing. I don't know how many times I hit that, but I might have turned it off or just left it alone <laughs> from when I found it right there, so I don't really know what happened. Hey! We're pond slimes, though. We're pond, uh... things right here. Florts. Don't think we need to grab those. If we had a market link, like an extra one, that'd be, I'd definitely grab those, and of course we'd be able to immediately sell them, get a little bit of money, but I don't have one on me. We still need, like, I think one royal jelly, and we'll be able to do that, so... As soon as we get another royal jelly, definitely want to make a market link so we can just sell anything, clean out our inventory, and even, hey, make a little bit of money, too. So that's going to be good, but... Right now, I, I think I spent our last royal jelly on that uh, resource, or refinery link, which is all, honestly, like, equally as good. Because at least we're able to clean our inventory of all the random trash that we pick up from our uh, drills and pumps and apiaries and all that kind of stuff. Should have more chicken. Oh, here we go. Should have more chicken spawning in, so that's good that I found one right there. Here's another one. Awesome. See that big old chicken butt right there? <laughs> so we can find, find some more around here. And we'll be able to feed it to that Gordo and see what we get out of here. Oh, should we... Because we have the Gordo, like, uh, trap or something like that at home. I don't know if we could... Uh... Should I teleport home and see, like, buy the blueprint and then see what we need in order to make the blueprint? I kind of want to go back and, and see that, you guys. Hmm. But I've already got so many chickens. Oh, I guess if anything, if we go home, we can just go grab even more chickens, because we got a crazy part of our map that spawns in a bunch of chickens. So, honestly, it wouldn't be that bad of an idea. Well, let's go back. So how do I get back from here, though? I need to head... Oh, this is- oh man, there's, uh, more tars here. I clean out a few of them, but I, I, I'm running out of water, so I'm, I'm not able to clean out everything. I'm sure- oh, whoops! Jetpack just ran out of fuel. Man, there you go. I hit the guy once! Oh, I guess you have to hit him multiple times, yeah. Still- oh, oh, there- oh, see, I ran out of water right there, man! Oh, well, that sucks. There's another thing, like, right here, too, yeah. Man, well, I, I'm like, I'm not really even using those things, so I don't think I need to worry about not using them, so. Oh, and there's another one right up there. Yeah, see, they bl- and another one there. A lot of them over here. We just kind of left them out in the open. <laughs> just because we did not have the inventory space for all them. Look at them! Even more up there! How did I not notice them? Oh, whoops. Uh... Hold on, what do I- oh, this, I think. Hey, it worked. Awesome, okay. Now, our teleport should be, like, right out here, right? I don't see any more chickens, yep. So here's our teleport. Awesome, so we're back home already, which is great. Uh, oh, man, well, that guy needs water. Yeah, all my drones, I bet, need water right now. But at least, hey, at least we're getting a little bit more exploration done of that, uh, ancient ruins there. Still didn't explore, like, the entirety of it, though, obviously, so... Oh, whoops. Just want to get water. Here we go. I might as well grab some hen hens from over here. If I could find any. Oh, here we go. There we go. Just in case I can't make the Gordo thing, and it's, like, you know, too expensive or whatever. Oh, oh a lot of them just spawned in right there. See, this is what I'm talking about. Our base is so crazy with how many chickens spawn in. <laughs> 
that are just all over the place. You know, I, I did read some comments from last episode saying, uh, that the drone, for some reason, I guess, shouldn't be able to put the chickens over here, but mine did for some reason. I don't know. Oh, wait. Well, it fed all of them already. I, this was like 20 of them last time I checked. Uh, well, these guys are pretty hungry, honestly. I'll, I'll give these guys some chickens. I'm like, hey, my own, my own slimes do come first here. I gotta take care of them before I take care of some strange gordo that I don't even know about. So, there you go. You know what? I'll give them all the chickens. There you go. There you go. Keep them nice and fed. And the drone up here, I bet, probably stop. Yep. Yeah, stopped working because it doesn't have any water. Yeah. That's such a weird thing, though. Some of you guys commented that it's like hydroelectric electric power or something like that, which I guess makes sense. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we need to grab the briar hens from over here. You know what? Let's place down the uh, refinery link again, just temporarily, real quick. Uh, here we go. You just picked up a chicken right there. Place down a refinery link. I'll, I'll get rid of the uh, or the hexacomb. There you go. Place this or pick it back up. There you go. And we'll grab some briar hens because this, this is going to be like double food for him, right? That's the yeah, the slightly brown one. I'll pick up all of them, of course. And then uh, drop off two of them, just like we usually do. Uh. I think that's... Oh, wait. Here we go. And that's all of it. Yeah. All these are just stony hens now. Yeah. So I can get rid of two. There you go. So we have five. So essentially, we have ten that we're about to feed them right now with the with the briar hens. So even though we just got rid of like ten hen hens right there to feed our uh, hunter slimes in the end, I think, we kind of broke even there, which is good. So we have more quantum slimes over here, which is good. There we go. Place all those guys inside there. Might want to grab some of the lemons over here because who knows? Maybe some of the quantum slimes we had... We're pretty hungry. Oh, wait, they're already picking up some food that's just kind of left around, which is great. But look at all this. Man, that's crazy. You know what? If if we do make Gorda or uh, Largos out of these guys and these guys, at least we have a heck ton of them, so we'll have to worry about that, right? So that'd be good. Now, is there anything else I wanted to do here before, uh... Oh, should I? What happens if I put a Hen Hen here? Oop. Oh! Well, Hen Hen just got incinerated right there. Probably got demonetized. <laughs> but uh, I'm not seeing any ash or anything like that right here. Is there another upgrade? I don't think there was. Yeah, there's not. Oh, we, ha we have everything. We have the ash trough. We have the incinerator. So now, I'm like, if we have anything extra, we just get rid of it there. Or we could incinerate it. I don't know if we have enough, uh, like, any vegetables or anything like that over here that we could feed to our, uh, any Oka Okas that we could feed. Oh, here we go. We have some. Perfect. I think it's because our drone over here, our drones, I think we have two of them. I think they're, uh, they also need some water, right? Yep, they need some water. Yeah, you know what? Let me let me grab all these vegetables here. We have, oh man, I can't grab them all. Man, I can grab the carrots though, which is good. At least the uh, the drone will put up all the odd onions inside of the boom slimes area, which is great. There you go. I'm grabbing the carrots. There you go. You can take all the odd onions, go put them where they need to go. So you're not gonna put the carrots where they need to go. I'll tell you that much. You'll put them in the wrong spot. <laughs> this one needs to be splashed as well. Boom. And these guys, well, they're going to get fed, so I don't think I have to worry about them. These guys are already pretty, uh, pretty good, so I don't think I need to give them the Oka Okas, but definitely want to go give these guys a little bit of food, because we kind of left them starving, so might as well give them a little bit of something. Hopefully not too many of them actually died here or anything like that, right? But there you go. That should feed a lot of them. Let's get another angle here, because some of them are, like, stacked on top of each other. Can't really see them too well. There you go. That should feed all, if not it's most of them there, so... Here we go. A few more. I know these are carrots. These aren't your favorite, like the, the heartbeats or anything like that, but there you go. At least that's feeding you guys, getting you guys nice and fed. I'm like, that's what feeding generally does, right? <laughs> it makes things nice and fed. But, oh yeah, look at all these ports right here. Let's see, is that going to go up to a... Oh my gosh, it went from like some teen number up to 65, and there's still more in there. 67. There's still a couple of Oka Okas inside there that need to be eaten too. Golly! There's so many quantum slimes too. Holy. And this is full too, or almost full. Is this kind of, yeah, it needs to be splashed too. What are you doing? Wake up. <laughs> Hold on, so why did I come back home? I don't know. Oh yeah, what is the 7Z rewards thing for, uh, just getting super distracted here. Oh yeah, Ultra Dash boots, ooh. And then yeah, the ice cream colors here. You know what, let's do it. We've got the money. Boom, $60,000 for a, oh, a Master Gordo snare blueprint. That's why I did it. Well, hopefully we still have enough money for that. Tank Booster Ultra. Ooh. Well, hopefully we actually have enough money here somewhat soon to uh, to, to sell or to uh, to buy those. But let's go over here. Let's, let's go back to the blueprint I wanted to do over here. And I suppose... Oh, you know what? Because we don't even have a market link, we could probably place down this thing, the Pink Warp Depot. Instead of two gadgets allow you to remotely transfer resources between two points. 
probably place that in like each biome that way i'm able to like empty out my inventory without without going straight up home you know that'd be a great way to do it without having a market link it'll just at least it'll just place it in the middle of our base or something i don't know <laughs> novice gordo snare a special snare that captures a gordo slime but uh, bait it with food and weight Ooh, 1500 there but the one we can get for 60,000 is but how do you make it though the 60,000 one is like advanced though right so what, I don't know what the difference between the two is. Like, does advanced work on, uh, like, I, I guess certain Gordos, but the novice one works on others, or maybe the novice one doesn't have that good of a chance of actually getting the Gordo, or but the advanced one does. At least I'm able to make the novice Gordo snare. You know what? We might as well try it out. We're able to make it. We already bought the thing. Boom. We don't have the... Oh, be the builder. I don't know what that achievement was right there. Let's see what that was. Hold on. Let's see. Be the builder. I don't know. How many achievements do I have in total here? I've got 49%. I'm at 28 out of 57 for my achievements, you guys. So, uh, episode, what, 15, 16, or whatever this is by now? Maybe less than that. Maybe more. I don't know. I'm not really keeping track here while I record. <laughs> but, uh, however many episodes we're in. Already I'm about halfway on the uh, achievements here, honestly. You know what? Let me know in the comments down below. Like, if, if we basically do everything in the game, do you guys want me to do what I basically did here in Terraria and, and kind of get all the achievements before we actually end season one here? Because that sounds like a pretty good thing. Because these achievements here don't don't really seem too impossible. Like, place a tar on the number one slime stage. Just need to buy a slime stage and go get a tar and bring it back home. Or maybe make my own tar. And then, boom, we get that achievement. Never stop creating. Fabricate 100 slime science gadgets. Uh, oh, that's what Be the Builder was right there. Cool. So we made 35 of them right there. We're at 35 out of 100 for to get the uh, gold version of that one. So that's really cool. She's on fire, score 50 points with a single game of slime ball. See, that one seems relatively easy. You just need to buy the uh, slime ball thing. Relatively easy. I just need to be decent at basketball or slime ball in order to do that. Purchase at least 10 different types of slime ball. See, see, look at that. We just spent a little bit of money right there to get the six ones that we haven't gotten yet. Or, well, there's more than 10, so just need to figure out which ones we haven't gotten yet and just buy any six of those, right? <laughs> then we get that achievement, mint in a box or mint in box. Uh, doors like these discover where Hobson's journey ended. See, that's probably going to be reading all the H's around the map, but I, some of them I've read, I, I try and go out of my way to read them. And I try and remember which ones I've read, like I'm really sure I've read that one, like right when we came here. I guess I'll feed these guys a little bit of... Uh, well, they're, yeah, their feeder thing is kind of empty, so you know what, I'll give them a little bit of slot, or uh, a little bit of carrots, I'll put these up as well. Uh, this is relatively full. I get all the pink plorts here and go put them up. Stony hen, briar hen. I guess we try it. We we have the briar hens, which is his favorite food, for the uh, for the boom gordo. So we'll, we'll, we'll place down the novice thing, which we made already, which is good. Oh, what? Remember, we tried to place down a uh, a refinery link in there. There wasn't a place to place it down. So if I wanted to place it down, I need a thing like this. Then I go over to yeah, novice gordo. See, I. I don't know. Well, there is one relatively nearby. It's just that... I don't think it's going to work on that one, you know? I feel like it might be a waste if I spend it on that Gordo, specifically. So I, I'm, I'm really thinking about just getting more chickens for him, honestly. Because there's nowhere I could place down the snare near there. Where it seems like it would work, you know? So I might as well just get a bunch of chickens from over here, which they're spawning on mass. Like, look at this. Bunch more. They're spawning like four or five at a time right there. Oh, even more of them! Look at these guys! This is crazy. Why are so many chickens spawn out of the ground? Is there some sort of lore? There's like a giant uh, underground chicken society <laughs> that has a bunch of like escapees that come up into the, the surface world where I am or something like that. Like, oh, someone needs to explain where all these chickens are coming from. It's crazy. <laughs> There's one there, one there. I'm like, I could grab some of my stony. I already have some stony hens stacked up right now, so wouldn't hurt to grab a couple of them over here and help out with the other uh, chicken number. So we're at 16 head hens, 15 stony hens, so we're at like 30 something there. Probably at like 35 or something that we fed them there so far. So we're at like 45 if we count the five briar hens. So I'd say like five more hen hens would be a safe number to go over there with. So we have one right here. Might be able to go over here and grab a couple more from the feeder that the uh, the bot's probably been doing some stuff at. Yeah, we got a few right there. Perfect. Uh, so we're at 24. Uh, you know what? I'll grab one more. And then maybe we could grab some more chickens that'll spawn in either here or on the way back to the Gordo. And then, of course, I want to actually explore the entire thing because you guys said to actually go explore this thing over here as well as use the, uh, the warp teleport thing. So definitely want to do that before we end off this episode so I don't feel like I didn't get anything done. <laughs> but uh, this guy... Oh, he does. I was about to say, yeah. 
There's fruit just laying around. He's not getting his job done, so let's make sure he's nice, splashed, waking up. And uh, let's go back. There we go. So we're back here. And oh, perfect. A few more chickens spawned in. Or hen hens. There you go. I've been calling them chickens this whole series. or called hen hens, technically, but <laughs> I'm just going to keep going with chicken. And where do I keep? I just heard a chicken get eat. Oh, tar. Zip. You're gone. <laughs> I guess if anything, I could have taken that thing home and gotten that. Well, I don't have the, 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 the one, two, three little, little first place, second place, third place thing. So, yeah, I'm not able to get that achievement, though. But that, that just goes to show how easy it is to get that achievement. Just need to pick up a tar and then boom. Well, oh, yeah, we already myth busted earlier, though. We can't put slimes through teleporters, right? So I'd actually have to either walk throughout the entirety of the whole uh, map. Or try and make a tar near our base or something like that in order to get that achievement. Ooh. So how do we... How do we actually get back there, though? I thought it might have been something there, but no. Seems like, yeah, it actually is an actual puzzle. I need to open up something that'll open up that door, but that seems a little bit too high up for me to... Oh, well, then again, I'm able to go around. Yeah. I think I'm able to go... Oh, am I? I think I am, yeah, because I think I went that way and then I just went completely different direction, which... Well, there should be chickens here, but they all got eaten. There's a chicken uh, thing right there, but we should have enough right now. I don't think we need to worry about that. Let's go here. Here in a tar, but... Oh, yeah, we've got water. We don't need to worry about that. Let's give them some hen hens. There we go. And then we'll give them briar hens, and then we'll give them stony hens. And if we have extra stony hens, I guess we can uh, take them back home or something like that. So there we go. The stony hens. Let's see what he's going to get. Oh, and let's get rid of this carrot. There we go. Oh, he's jiggling a lot. He's going to explode. Oh, oh, we have seven stony hens extra. Oh, man, big old boom right there. Somehow that giant explosion didn't do anything with the, uh... Oh, what in the world? Oh, well, some chickens came out of him, which makes sense. <laughs> what do we get right here? Oh, another slime key. Awesome. And some more fruit, and boom. Two slime keys now, so that's good. Look at these tars. Oh, this is terrible. I thought, oh man, there's like maybe one or two tar, but no, they multiply. There's so many of them right now. And yeah, like this pedestal right here is where we could have placed down the slime uh, trap or something like that. But like it's, it's across water and all that kind of stuff. I doubt that thing would have been able to jiggle its way over here and, <laughs> and get ensnared on that thing, right? But I think we've, uh, there you go, snap out of it. <laughs> I think we've cleaned out all the, uh, <gasps> you guys, eat the chicken. You th you're supposed to eat the chicken. No, what is exploding on me? Oh, there we go. I just fed a lucky slime for the first time. We got like a... I don't even know how much money that was. Oh, was he still there this whole time? I didn't even realize it. Probably could have fed him a few more times right there, you guys. Man! Ah. Uh, eh, whatever. Not that big of a deal. Because it seems like... You know, I did get comments. I might have mentioned it earlier in the series. From you guys saying uh, that the lucky slime... Even if you feed him, like, I'm so deep into the game right now that... Like, like, like whatever money he gives us isn't really, like, going to be anything crazy. I don't even know how much he gave me right there. I'll probably write it at the bottom of the screen, but, like, I'm not noticing it. Like, if it was a thousand, uh, whatever they're called, I definitely would have noticed it. But I didn't notice it right there, honestly, so. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so we're on the other side of this door now. Yeah, see, that, that, there's that big tall thing, which there was no other way to do it unless going around like this, which is interesting. Now, what else is over here, though? There's... There's nothing else there. I'm just trying to look around, see if there's anything else that might be interesting. There's this thing that can open and close this, right? Oh, well, it opens up the thing up top. There's some chickens up there. You know, I need this to- Oh, there's a slime at the top of it. I need it to be open so I can actually walk- Oh, wait, no, I don't. I can just walk through the other side, right? So there you go. So that's open now. So let's go over here. And this should be... Oh, wait, what? I think it closed that door, too. Okay, let me... I just have to open it up, then. But now it's going to close the one up top, which... I don't know if I even need the one up top to be open anyways, so I suppose we'll just leave it open, so... Let's go over here. And I, I can already see we're starting around out of time. Let's, let's hurry up. Try and explore this whole thing here. Before we hit, like, the 40, 50-minute mark, hour-long minute mark, or something like that. An hour-long minute mark? Like, what was that? <laughs> I guess 60-minute mark there. Oh, look at this! There's like a bunch of water down here in these ruins. Ah, oh, there's more puzzles and stuff around here too. Now how do I get to that top bit? I need to park over there and then there and then there. But I need the doors to be open and yeah. Hmm. Let's just explore a little bit right now though. We have, we have plenty of inventory. We have basically a full inventory if I get rid of this one uh, stony hen. 
a lot more quantum size that just came out right there. What is this? Oh, it's just carrots growing right there. Yeah, a bunch of puddle slimes and stuff. Are, oh, look at this guy. He's about to, he's about to, oh! He just phased out of our own universe, you guys. Whoa, I just saw that right in front of my eyes. I saw one of these puddle slimes were like glitching there for a second. Oh, this guy's going to phase out too. Feed him, someone you got to feed him. I can't feed him anything. I don't have any food for him. Man, oh, a puddle's up. This is the first time I've seen a puddle slime actually like move out of the water and actually like splash right there. That's crazy. So what else is around here though? And how do I open these doors? Because there's no uh, little, oh wait, what is this? There's no little controller things that I'm seeing here. I'm not seeing how to, unless we're up here. Oh wait, yeah, they are. Are they? Well, there's more of those echo things, but. Okay, this is how you get around to this. Oh, they're on the other side of the door, of course. There you go. Is that what I even need? You know, yeah, I'll leave that open. Oh, there's the teleport home. I can see it right there. Boom. Let's see what this is finally, you guys. You guys have been commenting about this for the long... Oh, there's a skin right there, too. Yeah, I still need to go a little bit further. What is this? We've gotten... So what? What do we not have a skin for already? Monochrome. Oh, that's for the qu oh whoops, that's for the quantum slides. You know what? I'll leave it as is. I like their bright yellow look. Definitely matches the uh, the phase lemons that we have, so that's good. What else is down here though? Oh, another uh, tier two treasure chest I could open, so that's good. I wonder when we're going to get the tier three one because I've seen a few of those and I'm very curious to see what we're going to get in there. Oh, we got the advanced Gordo snare right there, you guys. We didn't even need to buy the sixty thousand seven Z reward thingy. Oh, and here's the door. Oh yeah, see, I got comments for you guys. Oh wait, one out of two slime key things in the ancient ruins? Is there another slime key I need to open up somewhere? Probably is. And then seven out of 16 uh, treasure things. I didn't think I got that many there. That's kind of surprising, honestly. But yeah, I did get some comments of you guys saying I needed to uh, save a key, but I I'm like, I was already saving a key because I'm we didn't have anywhere else to even use a key. We've had a key for like two or three episodes by now. Except for, of course, this door down here, which we don't really even need to open because we can either go to Tabby, Slime, uh, Teleport, or, uh, or Tabby Gordo teleport there, or just go back behind her base, and that's how we get to the other side over here. So it doesn't really make sense to open up that door that's right there, so that's why I never opened it up. But let's open up this door. Let's see what this is. Ooh, what is that? Is that what the, the, the UFO thing that I said was on the map? Oh, what is that? Is that another Gordo? No, those are like... Yeah, those are like little statues. Oh, this is like, ah, oh, this is like the ancient ruins door again. We need to get certain types of plorts. No, we need, we just need to get a bunch of, uh, quantum plorts. And what does this say? Hold on. Is not the H around here somewhere? I don't think so. Let's see what, uh, Hobson, I think his name was. Let's see what he has to say about this. The ruins used to be some kind of warp station used by whoever created it to connect to one of the most distant corners of the far, far range. Be careful, Beatrix. Once you cross over, you'll be in truly untamed country. Though beautiful, the other side can be an unforgiving place, H. Ooh. So it sounds like a point of no return right here, you guys. Am I ready to leave the far, far range already? I, I don't think so. I'm like, I can't right now. Anyways, I think we need, uh, how many? Two, three, four, five, need five. What looked like quantum plorts there, just by looking at the things in their eyes and stuff like that. I see anything else around here too, so. That's cool that we discovered that. I think we pretty much ex explored the whole thing right now, to be quite honest. Like, just looking at the map right now, I don't, like, we went around, we, there was like this big thing right here we couldn't do, so we went around, we went around this, and then this is that big room with all the ponds, or puddle signs, and then this is the, the teleport back home. And then those are the quantum statue guys, so. I think we've pretty much explored the whole area here, honestly. Maybe not like some of the minute details and stuff like that, but you know, like actually using the puzzles and stuff. We kind of just flew around a lot of the puzzles and gates and stuff like that, but hey, at least we still made our way around here, which is good. Is there anything else hidden around here, though? Just in case there might be like another secret skin or like another treasure chest or something like that, because there's apparently like how many of them? There's like nine more of these treasure chests on this just one area, apparently, so. I don't know if I'm missing out on anything right now, and I'll get comments about it saying, you need to go back to the ruins because you missed a uh, treasure chest at like. 40 minutes and 20 seconds or something like that. I'm not seeing anything else around here, though. Oh, wait, hold on. That's how you get up to the roof up here. And then this is how you teleport or uh, you jump over to. Oh, wait. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, because we got the skin to automatically change these guys to a different color. I thought it was a different uh, slime right there, but it's not. But what is... Oh, oh, we have another ornament. I guess we'll open it up. We have a little bit of inventory space. Another pink one. Okay. Let's see. Wait for stamina to get... Uh, oh, that door over there is open now. What? Pretty sure we left that closed, but hey, I'm not complaining. So what is even over here? Just some chickens, it seems. I could probably, uh... I don't know if I can make this jump. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, there's a purple treasure thing up there. Yeah, see, some of the ones that are missing are obviously going to be purple ones that we can't even open yet, so... Might not really be that good. Oh, man. Ah, yeah, I saw I was out of stamina right there. Might not be that good of an idea to try and chase those things down if I can't open all of them, right? So, zip, and zip. There we go. Then we jump here. I just want to see what's up here on this giant door. Is there a... No, I was about to say, like, is that where the other key was? Because there's two keys. Uh, Yeah, see, one out of two slime door key things. I'm not seeing any more around here. There's a, uh, <laughs> a tar below us right now, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Oh, there's another H over there. I guess we could read that, but yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Place down the ornament right there. <laughs> Let's open up this uh, tier two treasure pod right here. What's this? Star flower patch. You know what? We need to do so. You know what? Next episode, definitely need to do some decorations. We haven't really... I don't even think we placed down any decorations, honestly, back at our base. We've got like probably a dozen or so of these different decoration things that we could use. Might as well use them, you know? Uh, I think they... Yeah, they do cost resources to make, so... I don't know if it's really that viable to make them right now, but... Yeah, let's just read this H, and I guess we'll teleport home, and then I guess end off this episode right here. A lot of really good progress done this episode, you guys. The ghostly phase lemon trees that you may have seen were a real head-scratcher to me for the longest time. I kept dreaming about an ice-cold glass of lemonade on the long summer days I spent exploring these ruins. Delicious stuff. But here's the trick. If you want those lemons, you've got to be willing to part with a fruit of your own. Give it a shot. Yeah, we figured that out. Well, I, I literally read it in the comments. <laughs> so you guys kind of spoiled that for me, to be quite honest. But uh, honestly, I don't even think I would have figured that out on my own. Just shooting a fro- well, I wouldn't have figured I'd have to come over here and then Hobson would have t literally told me what to do. <laughs> but I'm like, this is kind of hidden at the very back of the thing anyways, so. Don't think I would have figured that out on my own and probably would have been very unlikely that I'd find that thing in time uh, before actually getting those quantum slime things right. But uh, either way, I think we're pretty much done here, you guys. Let's just go back to the teleport over here. Just because, hey, why not actually use it because we actually discovered it, right? Yep, let's go over here. I don't know if I can float over there right now with our stamina, so I'm going to play it safe. I might have, yeah, I, I totally would have been able to float over here without <laughs> doing it that way, but whatever, at least we're back here at the base, which is awesome, and we've got a really good teleporter right there set up for the ancient ruins, so we can go there whenever we want to, which is awesome as well, definitely want to change these guys' colors back to a yellow, because I like that yellow color a lot more than that monochrome gray color, it's a lot more uh, exciting, and of course, yeah, see the lucky slime, we changed it back to the classic, a lot easier to see that one, whenever we changed it back, which is good, there's a the quantum, back to classic there, nice. So that's awesome. So I haven't gotten any star mail, so don't have to any, don't have to read anything there. And I guess just out of curiosity, oh, we need to put up these ornaments right here. Just out of curiosity, I'll go over here and uh, yeah, still no ash. I'll go over here. Let's go check on the advanced Gordo snare thing. See if we get uh, oh, well, are there even any Gordos left though? Like if I'm oh, and then yeah, I think I think someone said there's a thing behind here, a treasure thing. Is there a treasure thing? Is it behind here or was it? I might have been a different part of my base. Uh, I'm trying to look right now. I'm looking for it. I think the silver was like a tier one or something like that. It was either behind here or it was inside here, but I'm pretty sure I already broke the one that was, or <laughs> already opened the one that was inside of here, right? Yeah, see, leave that one. I got that one, so. I, I think it'd be kind of weird if they placed down uh, multiple treasure things like right next to each other, right? I'm just not seeing them here. I, I think I might be. Uh, misremembering a comment. I was talking about a different part of my base, but I'll try and go back and read those and we'll actually go to the right place next time. But let's go over here. We have the blueprint, right? Uh, where is it? Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Here it is. Advanced Gordo. Oh, well, it's not going to tell me the recipe there. Let's go do it over here. See how we make the advanced Gordo snare. Oh, I need silky sand, pepper jam, glass shard. Don't have any of that. Probably need to make uh, pumps and all that kind of stuff and then those are going to be even more rare drops that we can get, so yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> At least we have a novice Gordo Snare, we'll be able to use that. Special Snare that captures the Gordo Slime, but bait it with food. A more advanced Gordo Snare with less random results, bait it with food and weight. So what is the random result supposed to mean? 
I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see what that actually means. But for right now, I guess I'll have to end off this episode right here. Got a lot of really good progress done, as I said. So I'm really happy about this episode. Definitely between this episode and next episode, I want to do, go do more uh, Mochi Miles stuff. $4,600. What in the world? I definitely want to do more uh, Mochi Miles stuff off camera. Like wh literally like one or two more races is all I need to do. And then uh, we should be good to go with that and we should be able to get her upgrade. And then uh, I definitely want to go get some more of those Kukadoba fruit things for Ogden. Definitely want to get a couple more of those between this episode and next episode so we can actually see. Uh, oh, there are carrots over here again. That dumb drone put the wrong thing over here again. Thought it'd be smart enough to put the right thing over here, but I guess not. You just have to have something in here in the first place for it to stack up and then it'll be smart enough. Uh, but yeah, I definitely want to go do some more stuff for uh, Ogden Ortiz off camera. At least we'll be able to see what the two trees thing is all about. Like, is it two of the same trees? Is it two different trees? I guess we'll have to figure that out next episode. Then, uh... I still don't know about this incinerator. I might have made it a little bit too early, to be quite honest, but... At least we... At least we have one now, right? I'll be able to get rid of uh, any random trash we don't need and just kind of incinerate it there without having, like, random fruit rotting away or anything like that. That's going to be good, I suppose. And we have more missions we need to do, so we have a lot ahead of us here, you guys. But for right now, we're going to have to end this episode off right here. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. Golly, these are full. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as a new episode of Slime Rancher comes out because I just updated my upload schedule. So now, if you guys are used to Slime Rancher being on Tuesdays and Fridays, I changed it, as you can already see, to Wednesdays and Saturdays because I have a new day off this week uh, or every week now I started it this week but just wanted to let you guys know so you guys don't get confused by me because I've already seen some comments asking about Slime Rancher when I didn't upload it yesterday but hopefully now you guys know and by the way yeah we're up to uh, 28 of these spicy uh, tofu which is really good I did get some comments of you guys saying if I come across feral slimes the spicy tofu would be a great way to uh, kind of calm them down, right? Because you don't have to worry about getting a specific food or anything like that. You literally everything eats spicy tofu, so that'll be good. I'm not even looking at the prices right now. I just have so many plorts, I might as well get rid of them, right? <laughs> so that's good. But I think I've already done my full outro, so thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Slime Rancher. Oh, bye there.